Okay, trying to clean up the uh, demo material here and uh, attempting to hold this camera with my knees as I load the truck, so that's probably going to prove difficult, especially since I'm sitting on a bit of an incline here. semi and we have a uh, power wire over there so we're kind of a tough loading locate. John Byrne from Chat Mobility talking with us this morning. All right, in closing, what else would you like for us to know? Well, well, I'd say that's a pretty good load. Sitting up here on the pile. There's that power line again. Everything has got to be backed in just right underneath that power line. It's a real pain in the ass. And it's just tight, tight work in these uh, cities. So I got a good load on there, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get going. Just got to keep hauling. We got rain coming in this week, and uh, the only thing I can do to beat this project is just uh, get trucking. Shut the tarp up. Okay, moseying my way through town here, which I absolutely hate driving through these uh, little residential areas with these trucks. Got low wires everywhere, which I think they're supposed to have a standard to those, but it seems like the cable companies and everything else don't really honor them. I'm trying to shift everything here while I'm doing this one here to film, too. But uh, this is a 2007 uh, Peterbilt 386. Um, it's a uh, Cummins ISX engine, and uh, I think it's around uh, 500 horsepower. And this is an 18 speed uh, heat transmission. I don't really do a lot of videos on this truck because sometimes trucking videos aren't very exciting. Well, I've been doing double duty, um, farming at night or in the, after the afternoon, and then I have uh, because the landfill closes at four, and uh, then I've been uh, hauling on this demo project here for a few days. Um, I got a few more days hauling to do, but I'm just gonna have to basically knuckle down and get after it. I got a lot of the hay caught up so I can get after this uh, demo a little more full. And if anybody's really curious, this is the uh, town of Shenandoah, Iowa. And uh, I cannot believe how quick June's moving along. Anybody realizes it's almost July. We uh, are still short on rain here in Southwest Iowa. We do have a lot of rain to forecast this week, so I'm trying to get as much haul today as I can, which if anybody's interested today actually is Monday. But um, yeah, the weather forecast I saw showed for the week four to six inches for this area. So we'll see. Uh, overall, the crops look good every place else in the state, and there is a just a, sm a small, minimal area in southwest Iowa that's dry still. Um, been a bit of a burn up here down here, but it's only in a selective area. Uh, you just here with yards out around the yard. It's uh, 50 miles north of here. It's still a different story. So we could definitely use some, some welcome grain. And anybody, any of the old farmers that follow fog dates, they uh, are setting up for around July. So, you know, it's almost like I just said, it's almost like July, so maybe we actually will start getting some meaningful moisture and uh, in the meantime here I'm gonna uh, keep on hauling I did get a little video of the uh, demo um, it was a kind of a sketchy project it was an old brick building extremely tight to uh, other houses and I was afraid of but, uh, brick and stuff jumping up and uh, end up getting into trouble with you know, somebody else's house. The last thing you want to have is have a brick wall crumble right into somebody else's residence. So you know, I'll just say it was a sketchy demo, but it was a successful demo. And it's down, it's pulling uh, debris off right now. And um, sorry to get any videos up this weekend, but I do thank you to all the new subscribers and hope it continues to, to grow. Uh, yeah, again, if anybody is watching this and likes the channel, please uh, hit subscribe. So. I uh, had to deal with Mid American Energy to shut off or retire the gas line at this property. And I'll tell you, man, I, 
you know, I look at these guys that go out and they do these energy company jobs, and there's some linemen that will work their ass off, but, uh, man, those gas guys, they talk about make a freaking production out of a 10-minute job that anybody could have done. And, you know, out there on the farm where we're doing the fabrication projects, the engine overhauls, the trucking, everything, I guess my pay rate should be a hell of a lot more because if they feel entitled to what they're making per hour, just to stand around there and see how many lean up against one shovel compared to what I'm making per hour. <laughs> Holy crap. Something wrong with that picture. But, uh, anyway, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. I'll have more of these uh, videos coming up. And, uh, I guess today is when I get this thing done. So, uh, and I'll have other videos here coming as we got multiple other projects going on. But uh, as I say again, we're going to hammer down on this project, try to get a lot of, a lot of this uh, apartment demo out of here. Uh, I'm a little short on help, I'm short on, on truckers. Uh, it's hard to get people, especially CDLs in my area. So, anyway, stay tuned, and uh, have a good one, everybody.